Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more popper slivers, and we won the die roll. Let's do this against USP dudes. Um, boy, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep. It's not great, but we'll keep. It's uh, it's not terrible. We got a refill. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, started doing a new game this uh, yesterday's video, The Shore. It's a pretty sweet indie game off of Steam. Go check that out if you haven't. If you're a fan of like Lovecraft or just watching gameplay, go check that one out. All right. He's playing green. Abundant growth. It's Bogles. It's got to be. Like, yep. Okay. All right. Let's see. Where do we want to go from here? I think I just want to go Lord. And next turn, we can go plate it into the wing, start swinging in the air. Seems reasonable. Think. Go ahead. We're going to have to start racing somehow. Uh, Bogles, they do have reach cards, don't they? Mm -mm -mm. Not good. Oh, they're passing. That's great, though. Uh, maybe it's not Bogles. Maybe we're, maybe we're seeing something else here. Don't know. But here we come. Ah! For two. Arctic tree line. So much mana, but no creatures. You kept a hand with no creatures? Visionary. Uh, yep, it is. All right. Hellion's Pilgrim. I guess they're going to start putting stuff on Pilgrim, huh? <laughs> we can target that, but we really don't have anything to target it with. So, Evelyn Blessing, which... Choose a color. It has protection from... Okay. Lead the freaking Stampede. I'm going to Winding Way. That's cool. Mast Vandal is going to be great. I do like that. Okay. Uh, texture. The effect does not remove ores and equipment. It is going to be problematic if they call green, huh? I think we just need to race hard here. Yeah, I'm just going to race. I'm just going to throw everything I can on this thing. Seems reasonable. We got them at nine. We're flying in the air. They don't have reach yet. But they do have life gain. Of course they do. Ugh. Okay, they're gaining six. We're taking six. All right, we can get rid of their armadillo cloak, which sounds good to me. I don't want them gaining any more life. I don't have a creature in here, do I? Oh no, I'm not going to be able to do it. Dang it. Oh man, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. All right, well. I forgot we needed a creature. We didn't have any creatures. Would have been a good play, but we can still block. We can chump block this. And as long as they don't go too hard on us here, we should be able to swing back for enough. The wing sliver coming in handy though against Bogles. Just to go overhead and not worry about them like just blocking with a giant first striker with freaking vigilance or anything. We got a lot of cards in hand. Uh and it, it has reach. It now has reach. Awesome. Thankfully, Armadillo Cloak triggers after damage, so. See what we can do. It is not 13, 14. Okay. They're about to go off. And they just call green here, don't they? Yeah, they just call green with benevolent, right? And then they can just swing for lethal. Should be all it takes. <laughs> oh, we were so close. We we're so close. 
15, let's just see him do it. Come on, benevolent, call green, swing in. Yep, there's benevolent, call green. And swing in. <sighs> it's a good play. Bogles is fun, man. I enjoy a good Bogles deck. They got some nice upgrades, too. That that actually is a really good upgrade, the more I think about it. Uh, Prismatic Strands, yes. Mass Vandal, yeah. I would like that, although we gotta make sure we have creatures in the graveyard. Provoke is just a little slow. Lone Missionary might be good. We can take out... Sidewinder doesn't seem super effective against them. I want my Vigilance. Bladed is at least decent for blocking because it, it can absorb some more damage if we need to block a Trample. I feel like that's more effective than Sidewinder. I just don't think we're going to get there with Sidewinder. Need to cut two more cards. Striking still could be decent, depending. Drop one winding way. And I guess we can drop one gem hide. Yeah, we'll drop one gem hide. See what happens. Is this going to be a rough week for slivers? Okay, this is a good hand. I can dig it. I think I am going to call white, though, still with Thriving Grove, just in case. We will be able to play the the winged with our ge gem hide. Um, yep, and we're going to start with that. White, go. Swinging in the air with Poisonous might be able to get us there. You're playing a tap land, too. That's good. Uh, I am just going to go... This pass... We're just going to set up. We're going to put out a lot of creatures and then start swinging. There's the Bogle. It's already a 2 2. Now we can do this. A green or blue, sorry. Like this. Go like this. Pass. Elliot's Pilgrim, probably getting lifelink. We're getting abundant growth. Okay. No attacks. Sentinel is very decent here. I think I will go... Like this, and like this. Start getting in, and then I'm going to refill. Creature. That's a bad hit, but Heart Sliver's nice. Might help us seal off the game here with Wing Sliver, but that's not great. <laughs> okay, Abundant Growth gone. Duress, you miss. I don't know what you're looking for. I play with creatures. Not really going to have a whole lot else. Sideboard cards are not in my hand.
What else you got? You got two mana. I think we're going to game three. I don't think they're going to be able to finish me off. Unless they have a fog. I can live another turn if they have a fog. He's doing the math. I don't know. Okay. Sideboard time. That's fine. Let's run it back. You know, Benevolent Bodyguard might actually be decent to just undo some of their enchantments. Like, we put it down and we can sack it on whatever color enchantment they try to play in their creature, protect their creature from it, and then they won't get their enchantment. It's a play. But I, I like what we have here. I think... Okay, you could do that or Lone Missionary. Um, I don't know about this hand. I don't like it. Mass Vandal is not going to be effective here yet. We kind of want to draw him mid-late game. As far as late is with Bogles, there really is no late game. It's just like, turn three, you're dead. I think we can do better. Hmm. This is interesting. We're going to dump him, dump him, and we're going to try to kill him with double poisonous on our flyers. That's the game plan. And we get a planes. That's not bad either. I'm going to set up with that. Pass to them. Here come the creatures. Give me my forest. They're setting up. Frog tongue has reach. Uh, that was our only out for this hand almost. <laughs> Almost. Um, dang, man. All right. Let's put down Lord Pass. See what we can do. Four cards in hand. What do you got? Probably the worst thing. Ethereal armor is rough. They got lots of other creatures. They have one card in hand. That's not the worst. Try to get in for some poisonous while we can here. Okay, that's a big boy. I don't know if we can race that. Oh boy, all right. So much stuff kills us here. I guess... so close though it's a bummer we're hitting for six they go to seven poisonous but then we've got one blocker up we have no green mana to hit one of our refills he's an eight eight with trample we can absorb two we go to one but they can just swing out and kill us that way or they can just put anything on it and they win I think I'm going to winding way here and just try to hit a couple, maybe another lord or something. 
Gem hide's good if we can survive. Can we survive though? I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna keep up two blockers. Feel like we might need it. We're gonna slowly keep doing their poisonous and just hope that they can't go super hard here. Oh gosh, that is super hard. That's super, super hard. Okay. Don't swing. <laughs> Big game. Oh, jeez. That was rough. We did the best we could. It's Bogles. It's always been a hard one for us. Always. But uh, the Wing Sliver is pretty nice against this deck, I think. Just to get try to race as much as you can. As hard as you can. Instead of just getting stonewalled to a certain degree. But... Yeah, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that Bogles matchup. Looks like it might be a rougher week for Slivers, but tune in on Friday and make sure to check out the shore. I'm going to be uploading another piece of gameplay, part two, tomorrow as well. So stay tuned for that if you check out the first one. And we will see you guys in the next video.